Handufacturing is a phrase we coined to mix hand skills and manufacturing. Handufacturing is a direct descendant of Shapeshifters TV. Shapeshifters TV is meant to be a little bit on the entertaining side, a little bit on the interview side. And Handufacturing platform is meant to be for those people who watch that TV show, but they actually want to learn how to part of the process. So Handufacturing is going to be a library of how-to videos, mold making and casting, Kind of heavy because that's my lane, but also probably other artisans that will invite in. I know how to make molds for jewelry, but I'm not a pro at it. So we're going to bring in experts from other fields, such as uh, jewelry making, such as ornamental plaster, uh, perhaps prosthetics, and get their take on their particular process. My particular take on the process is more art casting, uh, sculpture, uh, bronze, maybe some glass casting, things like that, that that are closer to my experience level. But manufacturing is where people are going to go to learn how to do something. Now, joined with that, we're going to make it a little bit entertaining because I have a team of people here with me behind the camera and we're going to put them in front of the camera and they're going to learn to make the molds right by my side. So you don't have to just watch a pro do it, you're going to watch somebody uh, maybe a little bit playfully struggling to do it and it would be a, a nice entertaining dynamic to a how-to video. And along this journey there's also going to be some business talk. I'll be sure to share a lot of business stories that I have along the way that might be meaningful on how somebody can not just use this uh, mold making and casting skill set to make their own prototype or their own sculpture, but how to actually integrate it with business thinking, how to scale, how to bring small manufacturing into your house safely, how to work within certain environments. There will always be a safety and proper material handling foundation uh, put in place. There's a lot of people who say go for it. I'm a go for it guy myself, but I'm like, hey, a little bit safety first here because this should harm nobody in the process. There's no reason for someone to make a stupid mistake or to leave a chemical uh, with the lid not tightened and then the cat knocks it over. There's definitely going to be an emphasis on work mindfully. There's a saying that it's about work smart, not hard. We're going to flush that down the toilet as far as it can go. Why would you say something like that? Oh, it's pretty simple. It's a decades old higher education marketing campaign that was very successful and became a part of our culture. And it created a, a rift between those with a degree. That's the idea that you, you need to work smart with a higher degree or else the fallout of that is you have to work hard, which means unskilled. And I think that's, that's not accurate at all. So I like working smart. But I also like working hard. And in fact, I consider these my two PhDs, my pretty handy devices. And I think there's a lot of people around the world who work hard and they work smart. And it's not necessarily based on the degree that they have. And we're going to say work mindfully, work creatively, and work profitably. That's going to be my mantra in manufacturing.